The spot market out there right now is really strong um, because of the lack of truck drivers and the amount of freight that's required to be moved. Uh, the truck drivers are in a position of power uh, in the, when it comes to the negotiating table. The best advice I could give a, a new carrier when they're negotiating rates is never accept what the first offer is. Um, brokers are, they bid uh, a certain amount of money to get a freight hauled or a customer says that they will pay X amount of dollars to haul that load. Uh, and the broker's job is to get it moved as cheaply as possible um, because they make profit off of what's left. Um, it's your job to make sure that you're moving freight at what is profitable for your company. I look at where it's picking up, where it's going to, the amount of mileage. I look at the weight because um, obviously the heavier the load, the harder the truck has to work, the more fuel it's going to go through. Um, I look at the route, you know, if, if you're out in the, the plains of, of the central United States, you're not going to be going up near as many mountains or hills. If you're hauling through West Virginia, Colorado, Idaho, stuff like that, where you're hauling up and down hills, that's not only going to affect your fuel mileage, but it's going to affect your time on the road because going up those hills slows you down. So the, the biggest thing is, is know your expenses. You know, know what your minimum cost is to run that truck and operate it. Uh, and then that way you'll know if a rate is just not acceptable for you, you know not to take the load because you'll lose money. The biggest thing that carriers do to limit themselves is they limit uh, where they'll go or what they'll haul. Uh, in this industry, miles equals money. Uh, and there are some places that, that we know are not the, the most fun to drive in but the rates are better to go there. If you're trying to go from Kansas City to Amarillo, Texas, there's probably gonna be a few uh, less loads. Uh, so when you start narrowing the scope of your search, you start narrowing your ability to carry freight. The other part of that is making sure you're in the right areas. Um, if you're, I'll use Colorado as an example. If you're looking to make money, don't go to Colorado. Um, there's just, you know, there's just places that don't have good freight. They don't have good prices. Um, and knowing that, you're already ahead of the game. Um, this industry can be extremely overwhelming. Uh, if you feel that you're struggling either getting good rates or finding good loads, uh, we highly recommend that you reach out to a dispatcher or dispatching service like Pro Dispatch. The reason behind that is you're a professional truck driver. Drive your truck. Let us find your freight for you.